Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to Same Sex Soul Connections. I am so happy to um, restart this series. I've not been treating you guys badly, but I just wasn't vibrating on that last um, uh, tarot deck that we have. So I got this new one called the Numinous Tarot. Isn't it fabulous? The Numinous Tarot and it's so vibrant and it's gender neutral and it's just has such great images so this is going to be the first reading with that okay um even if you aren't in a same-sex soul connection this reading could also have a message for you one spirit guides you to this reading there is a message here for you one and two um you even if you're heterosexual you and your partner could be vibrating with the same energy meaning that you both could be in feminine energy mean meaning more intuitive receptive or you could both be in masculine energy um focus on power action oriented etc etc okay so once you've been guided to this reading this reading is for you but this is for my same sex soul connections all right so i'm gonna be looking into the karmic or third party relationship if that exists and then we get into what's the vibration with you and your um, partner. So if there's a karmic situation or third party situation, this is the reading for that. We take a quick look. Ooh, what's happening in the karmic situation? I'm going to tell you confusion, illusions, delusions people examining their options because they're ready to get out okay this is what's happening so when your person thinks about that the person that they're with that they, they were they're with their third party <gasps> before i start guys i don't want to miss all this one raffle entries are being accepted for um or monthly um free readings for a year raffle so it's essentially 12 readings for the year. So I'm accepting entries um, until the 7th of the month. And then the winner is announced on the 8th of the month. All you have to do is make um, a donation of $5 or more um, through my PayPal. And there are other options too. I have Venmo and, and, and Cash App as well. And you'll be entered into um, that, um, that raffle. That's one. Two. You might have heard, um, heard me talk about the healing session that I'm doing tomorrow, Tuesday at 11, 11 p.m. For, um, for anyone, but really for persons in um, higher level soulmate collections and um, for Twin Flamers. Um, I'm going to be doing, it'll be a short healing session. So I'm going to give you um, the playlist for that because I want you guys to be playing a particular music while that is going on. So we'll do a, a short session where we get the energy flowing through your chakras and so on from source. And then I'm going to be doing some live reads, some live brief three card reads. So it starts from 11, 11 p.m. to 12, 12 a.m. Um, on Wednesday, 11, 11 p.m. on Tuesday and ends 12, 12 a.m. Um, on Wednesday. And I'm going to try and read for as much people as possible. I'm doing that that space on time okay I'm going to do a test run tonight and I'm going to do some reads tonight so you can check in for that as well all right guys let's go into this oh what do you need for that session positive energy and a high vibing crystal like maybe um, clear quartz or the rose quartz or your favorite crystal but you're not gonna want a low vibing crystal like um, black tumulene or anything like that black tumulene throbs really low it's like mmm 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 Whereas the clear crystal is, mm, yeah, you can feel it. Anyway, <laughs> so your person, when they think of this third party, they think of this third party connection. They think of this karmic. How are they processing it mentally? Let's get three cards. What's the mental energy behind this connection right now? Hey, they know it's the devil. They know it's a codependent relationship. They know it's a toxic relationship. They may be dealing with a Capricorn, but they know they need to get out of Dodge because it does not serve their highest good. Mentally, they know that. Mentally, they know that a breakup needs to be had. 
this is Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy they know they may have even initiated a breakup of this kind of family structure but either way they are not feeling abundance in this relationship at all there's no abundance here so they may have even broken up quite frankly um, what now what are they focusing on they're focusing on themselves and giving themselves love and they're really contemplating who should I give my cup of love to I wanted to see her expression here she's there she's looking at this cup and it's contemplative who should I give my cup of love to do I continue um, spending my energy or sending my energy my love and energy to this person or do I send it elsewhere where it might be appreciated in their heart space they're there they um, they're recognizing that the universe is giving them an opportunity to exit this toxic relationship that's what they're recognizing. They're recognizing that the universe is giving them an opportunity to exit this couple's relationship. We have a lot of strong water energy here because they've had a, some sort of epiphany, some sort of tower moment. I'm going to pull a card on that and see what the, that tower moment is all about. And that tower moment might be connected to the Empress or their divine partner, which is you that's watching this video. So their mind is on a third party. Their mind is elsewhere. Their mind is on you. What's the epiphany? The epiphany is that they want to be with the Queen of Cups. So in their headspace, in their heart space, they want to be with the Queen of Cups, which is you. Someone who's loving, who's nurturing, who can offer their cup of love equally. They want to get with their Empress. And they no longer want to invest in this third party, in this third party relationship. They no longer want to invest there. That's part of their Tao moment. They no longer want to make that investment. It's not abundant anyway. So what's still holding this connection together? Somebody could be pregnant as well, okay? What's holding this connection together? Manipulation. We have the mag magician here in the reverse. So we have Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is Scorpio energy or Aries energy. And this is Taurus or Libra energy. So somebody could be pregnant as well. That could be part of the Tower moment. What's holding this connection together? Manipulation. Could also be spell work as well with this Virgo card. And also people are using um, all the tools in their toolbox to manifest a new beginning. So what's holding this connection together? They could still have a strong sexual chemistry um, with each other. And that could be clouding or overshadowing um, all the other negative aspects of this connection. What's keeping them together? They don't want to be alone. They're afraid of being alone both parties they're afraid of being alone and there's a kind of security in this connection because nobody's ever going to leave are they nobody's ever going to leave because they're codependent they're hanging on to each other they're clinging on to each other because there's this fear of abandonment so based on these current energies what can we expect from this connection people are still going to be feeling powerless People are going to be operating in emperor reversed energy, which is um, being consumed with power, being consumed with dominance of the other, being consumed with manipulation. That's Aries or Taurus. What's also happening here? Somebody might start to speak their truth though. Somebody might bring the truth and that truth might cut somebody out of somebody's life. So this reading is just for this week. 
And yeah, they're going to take their pentacle elsewhere. So what's going to happen by the end of the week? Somebody's going to speak their truth. Somebody's going to cu cut somebody out. And then they're going to take their cup of love elsewhere. So we had a Virgo here with this magician. Fire signs with this ace of wands. Um, earth signs with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Aries energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then we have a Virgo here. Okay. So somebody's going to speak their truth. And that truth is going to cause somebody else to take their pentacle and get out of dodge. That's the current energy. All right. So let's go into the divine connection here now. The soul connection. I told you these cards are just beautiful. Beautiful. Somebody wants to make somebody an offer or to come and apologize. They're trying to manifest a new beginning. And they know that in order to manifest that. They need to speak their truth and cut toxic people out of their life. The energy of this reading, somebody's not speaking the truth and they're not speaking the truth about their feelings. And that's what's causing um, any kind of hold up in this relationship. This is the creator of bells. So this is the queen of air. So somebody, and it's a queen of air reverse, somebody is not listening for, fully to spirit fully to their intuition and that's why they're not speaking their truth so this person when they think about you they think about this connection how are they processing it mentally how are they processing it mentally We have the nine of air and it's a nine of air reverse. So that talks about anxiety and depression, deep anxiety and depression and a reluctance um, to face their fear. And so it's a fear surrounding communication with you and expressing their feelings because here we have the nine of swords reverse. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. And here we have the eight of wands in the upright. So they're thinking about communicating with you, but there's a lot of and communicating about their feelings, but there's a lot of fear attached to that. So air energy here, fire signs here. They're feeling all this passionate sexual chemistry with you, this sexual connection with you. And their light burns bright for you. They have great hopes for a new beginning. But there's a lot of fear, and I think that fear um, is connected to rejection. They're not sure if you want, you would want this passionate new beginning with them or not. So again, we have fire energy here with this ace of wands. But they're still going to try and manifest it, though. We have the magician here. They're still going to try and manifest this new beginning. This is what they're thinking about. But this fear... This fear of rejection, this fear of everything that can go wrong, this fear of facing their fear, <laughs> it's what's holding back this connection at this point in time and really preventing them from talking to you. But they want to, in their heart space, what are they feeling? This is the queen of wands in reverse. So there she is. So in their heart space, they're not taking any action. They have this offer because it's the nine of pentacles. They have this war offer that they want to come and give to you. They're being guided that they should give it to you. Their intuition is telling them that they should give it to you and make you this offer but they're not taking any action just yet. And I really do think it's connected to um, their fear of being rejected. That's what I'm getting. 
so with that same knight of pentacles that was leaving the karmic relationship is here in the heart space they're just not taking any action right now this is the queen of cups so they have a lot of love in their heart to give so that same queen of cups it's over here they have a lot of love in their heart but they're just not taking any action i'm gonna pull a card so we have two queens the action queen this queen that's connected to spirit is in reverse and then we have this queen this queen of cups she's in the upright so a lot of love to give very nurturing this could be also how they see you they could see you as a very solid person that's making a solid offer to them and someone who is full with love that can offer but i'm getting that this is their heart their heart is full of love and they really do want to make a solid offer they're just not taking any action right now and let me find out why they're not taking bloody hell oh they're not taking any action because they don't feel like they're abundant enough they don't think that they're good enough they don't think that they are, they're good enough to approach you that they have enough to give I told you they're afraid of rejection. What's blocking this connection right now? People aren't walking away from situations that no longer serve their highest good. And this could be addictions too because i'm seeing this can mean um maybe an alcohol problem but it's things that no longer serve them they're not walking away from that and that could be both parties with that eight of cups in reverse what the hell is this Guys, you have to bear with me. There's a card here that I don't know. And it came out reverse too. I gotta go get the guidebook, guys. What the hell is this? The Numinous. This is not usually in the tarot deck. So I don't know what the hell that is. So it's a card that the creator made. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Maybe it's the Fool. No, it's not the fool. It's a unique 23rd Major Arcana card. Okay, it, it represents important archetypes, big life events and continuous cycles. Okay, that didn't, that didn't even answer my question. Guys, bear with me. bear with me bear with me because I don't know what the hell this is the numinous a sacred flame burns brightly upon a snow-capped mountain against a, a backdrop of the northern lights when this card comes up right it's an indication that the mysterious forces are at play. When reversed, the numinous stands for the mysterious, but the kind that obscures rather than enlightens. So this is about spell work. See what I'm saying? This card reverse can also indicate magic and mysticism of a frightful, a frightening or harmful nature, malicious spirits, shadow work that overwhelms, energy vampires, psychic attack negatively haunted places curses vengeful ghosts um spell rebound and dangerous astral travel guys there's some um if you you're watching this reading there's some kind of um negative attachment or interference um in your relationship you can contact me i work with um happy twins 11 11 and we do clearings I think you're gonna need a clearing. There's something amiss here. Oh, what the hell? Wow. And then we have Dream of Candles. So this is a page 
um, the page of wands. So what's holding back this connection? Um, people aren't speaking about their passion. People aren't speaking their truth. So blocking the connection is people aren't walking away from toxic relationships and toxic addi addictions and behaviors. We also have here for some of you, it may not be for all of you, but if you've been wondering and if you've been getting this message elsewhere, there is some kind of spell work or kind of negative interference in your relationship at this point in time. And then people aren't speaking their truth or communicating with, uh, with each other how they feel. So that's what's blocking the connection at this point in time. So what can we expect will happen or what will be their actions towards you um, by next week, by the end of this week? Page of Cups. So they're going to do some kind of reaching out. Maybe um, send you a little message or offer you an apology. But some They'll do some kind of reaching out. And then we have this Queen of um, Pentacles here. So maybe they're going to come into some sort of abundance that allows them to reach out to you and really make that connection. So they're going to try and miss, they're going to start to make things happen. They're going to start to make things happen by taking some, some kind of action. And then we have the dream of bells. This is the page of, um, air, the page of swords. So they're going to still be um, stalking you on your social media, checking up on you, see what you're you're all about. They may even be um, stalking you um, like astrally because I'm looking at all the purple in this. So you might see some action from this person. But it's going to be something small, just a small text message. Um, maybe um, asking for forgiveness or something like that. That's coming through. All right, let's get some messages from the higher self. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is a hard to come together connection. I am definitely thinking that there might be some kind of interference. There's some kind of interference here. Because we got that in the karmic relationship, didn't we? We did. And then it comes back here um, in this reading. There is some sort of a fair interference here. <clears throat> so what do they want you to know? Right now, they need some space because they have to figure out how they can get on their way to you and move this relationship forward but they want you to know trust that they are on their way they're just trying to figure things out they want you to know also that they're in full recognition that this is an, eth an eternal love and they have a lot of love in their heart to offer you they really want to manifest this passionate yeah so you see they really want to manifest this passionate new beginning in love and really want to make you a solid offer and really want to communicate with you but they're being blocked at this time they're not ready okay all right so this was your reading guys i really hope that it helped you um if you've been getting the message that some kind of um negative interference is in your relationship contact me or contact charlotte at happy 2011 11 and arrange for some kind of clearing okay all right, guys. Bye and take care.